Good morning, everyone. Hope you guys are having a great day. It is uh, time for another demo. I've had uh, uh, actually several different people since I did a video a few weeks ago where I was doing some reviews on different kinds of wood. I got another kind of wood that I want to try today. So Mr. Dan Burbank sent me a letter and he sent me some pieces of eastern pine, eastern white pine, excuse me. Um, so I'm going to play around with it a little bit. I've been playing with it a little bit, but um, I want to actually do some carving uh, right on, uh, on camera. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I've done. These are two pieces. And it's really cool the way he sent me these two pieces. And I, I didn't tell you about this, babe, but I want, to, I want to show you something from the end. One of them is more of a flat grain. Over here is more of a flat grain where it kind of goes horizontal side to side. And this one isn't quite a vertical grain up and down, but you can definitely see the different grain patterns on them, um, which is kind of cool because it gives me a, a chance to try both. I, can can't, you, I can't really tell if it's... This, well, it's this good. one, the, you, you can, can kind of... put it at an angle just maybe a little bit? Oh, an angle yeah, this way? Yeah, yeah. Where I the grain is kind of going that way. You guys might be able to see that, but Vicky can't see it mm -hmm. in the screen. And then this one... The grain is going more flat, more horizontal. Anyway, um, it's kind of cool because it, they're two different kinds of boards, uh, grain-wise, but they're the same uh, eastern white pine. So here's what we're going to do. Now what I've done, I don't know if you can see the difference in color from this side to this side. Uh, this is pine, so I put sanding sealer on this side. This side has no sanding sealer. I'm going to carve on both. On both. Um, but here's the thing that, I, you know, I've been getting some questions lately. When you put sanding sealer on here, guys, or when you put any moisture on these boards, it causes that grain to stand up. So after, before you start carving, you want to just at least kind of smooth that down. That's kind of a rough, so I would use something like 220 or 180 or something like that. And just kind of smooth that down. Now the reason we're doing that is so that that router base plate will slide on there really easy. So that's all you really need to do. The sanding sealer is, is still there. It's just those high spots where it uh, caused that grain to stand up are now kind of flattened down and taking those off. So now I know my router base will slide cool on there. All right, so let's just lay some letters out real quick. Well, I might as well go P-I-N-E. Hey, that worked out. I didn't even plan that. But let's just do that. So I'm just going to spray those. I'm not drawing lines or anything. I'm just going to spray them real quick. Those will be dry in a second. I don't really want to carve right through that knot, but I'll get close to it. kind of sideways on me. I'm trying to kind of rush through this. <laughs> that always happens. Well, I have to straighten that out. I'll straighten it out when I carve it. Cow. Got a little bit of a bow on there. So I'll straighten that out when I carve it. All right, so let's get into it. So I'm going to carve uh, a couple outset and a couple inset, I think. I've got all my routers set up here. So I've got a profile bit. That's what I'm going to use first. Uh, let's see. I'll use profile bit here. Uh, yep. Get my cheaters on. Man, we're not, uh, not messing around today. We're getting right after it. You staying up with me, babe? Fine. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens here. Ah, that's going to bug me a little bit. I'll deal with it.
Alright. Oh, I gotta clean that up a little bit. Hang on. talk about this a little bit first of all it smells really good I love the smell of it um, it actually throws a really good chip now I, I measured the um, the moisture on this and it's down to almost zero now when um, Dan said that when he sent it to me that uh, it had a little moisture in it but I think it dried out in between his place and and here it's kind of dried out so it's it's almost down to nothing as far as moisture content it feels like a soft wood it feels doesn't feel that much different than my select pine out here but what uh, what really surprised me here is that the difference between the vertical grain and the horizontal grain um, generally when I see a grain that looks like that when I see that I will almost always bypass that board because it looks to me when my experience tells me that that will give me kind of a hard soft hard soft hard on the grain and soft in between this doesn't have that so uh, now every board is different you know your results might be different than my results but what I'm carving right here and as far as I know this is the first time I've carved um, eastern white pine um, I was really shocked that I didn't get the the hard soft hard soft thing in that uh, that's what I thought you said um, I won't even go there uh, anyway I was really surprised it didn't do that it carved nice and solid and consistent um, I, my bits are really dull I haven't sharpened them for a while and so you see it kind of throwing a burr but that may be some of the wood but it may be some of the bit as well and like I've said in the past Every board is a little bit different, so that might, you know, that might, uh, that might cause that. All right, let's cut some inset letters. Well, no, actually, I got to do the um, the background around those outset letters. Oh shoot, I was going to alternate those. I kind of, I was going to carve one inset, one outset on both the standing sealer and knot. But anyway, too late now. All right, put my cheaters back on. Don't get no glare off my dome. Okay. Boy, that threw a really nice chip. It carved nice again, nice and consistent, fairly soft, and that bit is kind of dull. Um, that was impressive. Uh, yeah, that carved really well, and I'm right next to right next to that knot right there as well. So I'm pretty impressed with that this stuff so far. It doesn't car it carves much better, um, or it carves at least as good as my select pine. Um, 
and I don't know what the price of this stuff is. It's probably going to be different wherever you're at. All right, so I said I'm going to try and carve this this straight. So I'm going to do a couple of inset letters now. Here we go. Yeah, I can put that down. Get that out of the way. He's got routers everywhere. Hang on, I'm going to blow this off. So now somebody's gonna, I'm sure somebody's gonna be curious how deep am I going here? I'm probably about, I, I'm just guessing about 3 sixteenths here, about a quarter inch, maybe a little bit less on both the profile bit and the 90 degree V groove. This is a 60 degree V groove on the inset. Ooh, I forgot the middle of that P on that one. Let me get that real quick. Well, I just use the 60 rather than the 90 there. But anyway, all right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna spray these real quick. Then we're gonna sand them off, see what they look like, and see if we get any bleeding, especially over here where we don't have any sanding sealer. So, I'm gonna do this really fast. Staying with me, babe? I'm sure you are the professional that, <laughs> that you have become. I don't know, you're bouncing around pretty fast. Yeah. I'm high on life. All right. Okay, so we're going to uh, let that dry. We're going to come back and sand it off. That was my 50 grit belt, and now I've got my 120 belt. I'll tangle up. Yeah, it smells great, huh? Oh, look at that. So, that eye's a little quirky. Cattywampus? Cattywampus, yeah. Technical term. All right, so, um, I am uh, pleasantly surprised. This is where the sanding sealer was. This had no sanding sealer. 
but yet there's no bleeding whatsoever. Now, if I had sprayed it really heavy, I don't know. May, I, I just, I can't bring myself to do that. Uh, sometimes I try, for example, but um, you still want to have a light touch with that spray can. But anyway, uh, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with this Eastern White Pine. It, uh, it carved really, really well. Um, very consistent, and again, it really shocked me that this wasn't hard soft. It wasn't chippy at all. It didn't try and chip. It, it, it carved perfect. I didn't have any issues with it at all. The only issues I'm having is with the flies. The flies and they're kind That's, I'm having an issue with it. All right, so thank you so much, Dan Burbank. Burbank, right? Dan Burbank, yes. So here's the best part. He sent me those boards, but also he sent me homemade syrup. He is, this is actually made from trees. He makes his own syrup from trees on his property. And Eric won't let anybody have any. And nobody gets it but me. But I'm on a low carb thing right now, so it's gonna have to wait <laughs> till the winter time. I said I can't have pancakes till Christmas. Anyway, but it's in the fridge. Um, and it, it actually, I, I did taste it. It's amazing, it's amazing. So um, yeah, he actually makes his own maple syrup from trees on his property. Anyway, thank you so much, Dan. I so appreciate Where is Dan it. From? He is, uh, well this, is it Minnesota? It's, no, 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 no. This says uh, made from, uh, no, New Hampshire, right yeah, there. New Hampshire. Yeah, he's in New Hampshire. Yeah, amazing. It, it, it's awesome. So that is it. I've got um, I've got one more shout out that I want to do with a friend of mine that lives down in the Phoenix area, Jason. Um, and he sent me. I think he sent it to me. Well, he probably did. Everything goes to you. <laughs> it all it's all yours. Uh, anyway, he sent me what he calls a sun catcher. He made this with his laser. A um, little label. Yeah. This is his, that's his business, and it's actually, he has a YouTube channel, and he does some really cool stuff with his laser. He does all kinds of different stuff. He does some signs, he does some burning, he does some routing, he does some laser work, he just does all kinds of stuff. So I will definitely put Jason's um, link to his channel in the description below. Um, I'm, we're actually going to see him here in another week or two when we go down to... Uh, to Phoenix. He's part of the Desert AZ Makers Group down there. Anyway, thank you so much, Jason. I love it. Uh, actually, he made a video making this. So if you go on his channel, actually making this piece, he made a video of it. There's a lot of stuff that goes into play. Way more than I would spend. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's amazing. So thank you again so much, Dan and Jason. Um, you guys go check Jason's uh, channel out. He does some really cool stuff for NFL players, actually. It's really cool, the, his whole setup. Um, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. We so appreciate it. If you have any questions on this or anything else, be sure and let me know. Email me directly, eric at makerwoodsign.com. Uh, you can, or you can comment in here. If you send it through Facebook, sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. There's just so much going on there, and I don't spend near as much time on Facebook as I used to. Just don't have the time. But um, we got some great projects coming up. I got some really cool stuff that I want to do. Uh, brand new ideas and different kinds of projects. Uh, Vicky's got some projects coming up, so. I um, hope you guys stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to. And don't forget to click that little bell icon. Thanks so much, guys. Hope you guys have a great day and a great week. And we will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.